Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on Friday here, GDP Day, 26 July. Uh, pretty interesting day yesterday. Not quite as interesting as it could have been, but uh, interesting nonetheless. Obviously, ECB uh, did nothing um, on the rates, and the theme was basically uh, they want fiscal help to change the economic situation in Europe. And the way that it was interpreted, or the way we interpreted it, was uh, rate cuts aren't going to help anymore. They need fiscal help, as in they need government investment into businesses and infrastructure to create jobs. And uh, so once that was fully digested, uh, we had a little bit of a boost here in Euro. So, of course, pre, uh, the first move was up to 62. The next move was stopping everybody out down to 02 and then during the speech when when Draghi mentioned that uh, he was looking for fiscal help and that it was unanimous not to move on rates uh, we had the squeeze higher all the way up to 88 now as you can see we kind of closed where we opened and it was an indecisive day so we did not get bullish engulfing which was a shame really because uh, I was hoping for bullish engulfing on uh, euro dollar, bullish engulfing on euro cad, bullish engulfing on euro yen, bearish engulfing on boons and tens. We got a little bit of that, but not all of it. So this right here, this bar yesterday and the price action yesterday can only be concluded as indecisive. So we don't have a dog. Um, in this euro fight here but we do uh, have some euro longs euro yen uh, in particular very very conclusive uh, bullish price action this confirms over 36 we will be adding uh, today over 121.36 uh, euro yen looks incredibly constructive EuroCAD, same thing. We talked yesterday about sometimes foreign exchange just chases after the pain. So obviously Tuesday the whole world got short Euro Yen, including us. We thankfully squared, uh, but the big boys have to sit short. They don't have the luxury of squaring after short-term moves because they've got to take uh, a percent at the minimum out of these moves so if they're leveraged maybe two or three times a one percent move gives them a a, a two or three percent kick on their NAV uh, so Urien did not go a percent went basically three quarters of a percent so they all had to stop out through 78 and added to um, the move higher Eurocad same thing we've had this big down move uh, Structurally, the market is short EuroCAD, which makes a whole lot of sense. Uh, but now uh, we feel that the pain is coming and these guys are going to get stopped out. We got all the way up to 07. What was the high exactly? Yeah, 07. And then we punched all the way back down to 44, I believe, which was slightly painful. Um, but here we are at 70, same play here as we're going to do in um, Euro-Yen. We'll be buying, adding through the highs here. There'll be a number of lines being drawn. Uh, the main point is this horizontal. 147.16, that, that seems to be the bingo number. So add add some Eurocad through the highs, uh, stay core long. 
interesting, interesting bars in Euro Yen and Euro CAD. Unfortunately, Euro Dollar did not confirm, um, but it's interesting nonetheless. Boons, uh, again, could have been a seminal day if we had just closed below 73. We got down to 50, and then we traded all the way back up to 20. Um, indecisive, right? It's a doji. So what does a doji mean? You get your conviction once either the high is broken or the low is broken. So today we'll be watching 173.50. Uh, and downward action in boons just gives us comfort, comfort and more confidence um, in long Euro Yen and long Euro CAD positions. Let's look at the tens. Again, we we could have had um, what you would call a seminal day, but we, we just didn't. We needed to close well below this 08. At one point, we were down at 02. Looked great. Um, what does that mean? It's just a marginally bearish bar now, um, and we just have to wait and see. I guess the real downward pressure will come at 126.23. A casual short in tens uh, looks okay. We got GDP today, so you can't load the boat going into GDP. Um, but you want to watch this chart now. It had all the makings yesterday. It did go down pretty well. So that does look like the weak side. Um, so just watch this point. On the price, it's 126.23. On the yield, I don't want to confuse uh, people who are not really veterans out here. It's the same trade, so you're either buying yield or selling the futures, but you're not actually buying the yield. This is just the yield, the, the chart of the yield. So in order to put this trade on, you have to sell the futures. Um, 214 is like sort of the big number. We got to 210 yesterday. Um, and you can see the yield bar looks pretty constructive, but could have been more constructive. What else is out there? Dollars are popped because of this 10-year move uh, and because of a little bit of risk-off action in stocks. We were not participating in, in dollars are yesterday. We were busy with other stuff. But this looks pretty constructive now. We talked about it through 04. Uh, for those of you who did uh, buy through 04 and have core longs, uh, we like this position. The next hurdle here is this 200 day, which is at 18, and then these highs here, which are at 27. You need that 10 year to go lower, and you need stocks to go lower for, for, for dollar czar to continue. Speaking of stocks, again, we just almost had a seminal day. If we had closed below 96, uh, we'd been bearish and golfing from the all-time highs. Instead, what did we get? Just a marginally nothing day. I mean, marginally bearish day, but really not conclusive at all. Um, so we just sit and wait stocks. No dog in that fight uh, right now. Dollar Swiss shot higher uh, as Euro Swiss eventually shot higher. This is interesting just because of the tens. We did not trade this trend line. Obviously, it worked very, very well. Um, not really sure what's going to happen here. Uh, obviously, Euro Swiss, uh, we had some mysterious buying uh, yesterday after a move down towards that 109.50 area. Uh, I'm not going to say it because I can't confirm it, but very, very powerful day in Euro Swiss there. Bullish engulfing as with Euro Yen and Euro CAD. Um, this is constructive and, with, and this is probably going to continue now. This is going to be supportive for Dollar Swiss uh, and you know, GDP is just going to drive this bus in dollar Swiss. Uh, as far as Euro Swiss is concerned, uh, as you can see, there's structural support down here towards 109.50. Uh, 
this is a buy on dip, but uh, we'll wait for prices closer to 110 in order to in order to play that game. So Euro Swiss has turned. Look at that. Finally, dollar yen today. Again, this is a GDP uh, move. Even though GDP is is um, backward looking, uh, as one of my colleagues mentioned to me uh, a few days ago when I talked to him about this, um, it's still going to be important. And this level here in dollar yen is massively important. One one oh nine, the figure. If tens or if rates in the U.S. go higher. Um, People are going to get caught on this dollar yen, um, so it's a GDP trade. Anyway, our focus here is uh, on the euro crosses. Uh, the constructive bar on euro yen and on euro CAD leave us to uh, stay with those long positions. We'll be looking at these bond markets uh, for tactical shorts if price confirms, and we'll just be ready. Um, mentally ready for GDP later today. Let's quickly check the calendar here in Europe uh, just in case there's something this morning that I forgot. I don't think so. Um, yeah, no. German import price is useless. So it's going to be a quiet morning here in Europe. I think we'll get some exercise here and uh, just watch this stuff from afar and settle in for a normal trading session with uh, with our friends from the states good luck out there people make some dough uh, and enjoy your weekend after uh, GDP and I will talk to you on Monday ciao